as you say, rightfully, he is a troubled man, but also he comes from a certain era, you know, where military was everything, and he's working according to precision, and he's a military man, you know, the old South Africa kind of mindset, where, you know, there are rules, and you stick to the rules. Now, losing his wife, and obviously raising his daughter at a very young age, he finds himself with the quandary where he doesn't know how to do it. The only way he knows is by certain rules. He's now applying whatever he's learned in the military to his relationship with his daughter. With, uh, you know, as you've seen in the film, the, the consequences thereof is, 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 is really bad. And, and I think that is the empathy I have with him as a character. Because how many of us, being fathers or having had fathers, understand that it's difficult at the time for the person to make the right decision. And everybody makes mistakes. And he, he certainly does take it a step further by by making some some fundamental mistakes in his relationship with the neighbors and with his daughter. Trying to raise her in the best way that he thinks is possible. Um, yeah, the, the, the consequences thereof is, uh, is, is really sad and um, tremendously um, frightening to think about uh, how he deals with her, uh, how he um, applies discipline is scary and the sad part is that it still happens today. He's, he's such a brutal character but he managed to make him so human that we can all relate to him of what he's going through. Uh, how difficult is that process for you to take such a such a great, such a violent character, and just make him so absolutely human. And, and um, a father we all understand, we might fear this type of father, but as a father we all respect in a way for his behavior. I always say, Daniel, that I never judge my character, number one. Number two, I think making him real for me is what it's all about. Um, real in the sense of everybody's got a fear and a vulnerability. And when I think about my characters, it's, for me, it's a matter of what makes him scared, what makes him vulnerable. And when you find that, you kind of put up the front of being the strong man through his military, but actually deep down he's so vulnerable and so afraid of, of failure that uh, if you bring that into the performance, then then there's there's something real that you can bring to that. I mean, and for me, yeah, it's it's actually a sad character. I mean, as you rightly say, it's a, it's a very sad character. But this front of being so strong and uh, finding almost a, a uniform to hide behind. So to peel that off, and you know, one person might have an alcohol problem, the other one might have fear of failure or lack of discipline in his own life, maybe he came from such a home. So I create a backstory for my characters and I think the one that I that I looked at him as was yeah, he was he came out of a very conservative strict home. Hence the fact that he went to the army and from there on it became uh, it became very evident that he as a man didn't know any better. How do you relate to the character? Myself being to the army, uh, I can certainly relate that the line between what I always say good and evil is very close. I mean, I've, I've experienced that in Swinag, but also now within, yeah, I can, I can say that the line between good and evil is so marginal, and that when you, at the moment, at the, cho the choice you make at that time can either take you to be good or to be bad. For me to relate to this character, as a father, you make mistakes, and you know you, you see things in him that you think, wow, that could be me. Or you know, my father himself was a very good man. He was a wonderful father. He was, he was really a brilliant man. So I have a very good relationship. But as a father myself, I kind of look at, at this and, and, and look at, at him and say, wow, I must not be as brutal as him. And uh, discipline is good, but there's a fine line once again by how do you discipline your own children and where do you so for me to relate to him was difficult. I mean, I didn't relate, I mean, in, except for giving the plot away. At the end, he does something very bad, very cruel. And for me as Dion, I could not relate to that. Uh, that's not in my psyche. So it, it took me a long time to get into that. 
I woke up like that in the morning. And, and, I, and even Sean on set that morning asked me, are you okay? Somebody else came up to me and said, are you sick? And then I knew I was in it. And I, I sustained that for four hours. And uh, it was very tiring, but yeah, it was something that I needed to get into to understand the psyche of this man and what to do what he did. And that was, uh, that was interesting. Talking about that scene, the article revealing what it is, that incredibly tragic scene, um, did he really, uh, do you think he, he he would have gone through doing what he does in the story without that voice of reason. Yeah, I think I think he was so desperate, and that's the sad part of his character. That if you come at a point where you feel you lose everything, you're losing control, you're losing your daughter, you're just something that you've um, you know you've, you've lost your career, you've lost everything. You are so desperate, and you don't know any better how to get out of it, then, then that's the kind of thing that, that you eventually would do. That's the other question, because in the film it comes across as, as not himself eventually doing it, but I think he was so far away, he was so, he was so ill in his own head and in his mind that he was really, it was actually almost a blessing for him. And I think, it, although it might be crude, that's that's the best way of the art could have been. Yeah. You know, and 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 obviously, you know, without evil or malevolence or without the um, cruelty, without all of that, I mean, in a story like this, it's so vital because that shows us through the characters what it's like to be human and sort of and 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 facial flaws. Absolutely, and I think that's the big lesson for me. Is that you make mistakes. We all we all make mistakes. Nobody is perfect. But it's how you deal with the mistakes. It's how other people portray that and how people see it and how people you know, the vulnerabilities that we have and how we with our all our insecurities deal with those kind of issues. And I think that's what comes across very powerfully and very strongly. And that's the nice thing about it that makes it human is that so many of the characters have issues. My particular character as well, Nibbo, I mean, for him, um, yeah, it's just so tragic in the way that he deals with things. So it is powerful in that sense. And what is next for you after Nibbo? I'm working on uh, Tutankhamun, which is a British TV series, and then next year I'm doing Kapoor Tua, which is uh, set in South Africa, the Khoi woman that went to the castle. So that's uh, February, March next year. In December, I'm taking some time. I've <laughs> a nice busy year. Thank you, and, and well done with this film. Thank you, thank you so much. I appreciate it.